today on World of Hurt. Boner like I own her and never boner! You're still a prick, eh? You're still a retard. The goddamn circus is what it is. Where I'm from is all about drinking, fing, and fighting. Don't ever f ask me to do anything like that again. Probably not. My name is Lance Storm, and this is my world. People come from all over the globe to learn from me. These 10 prospects have come to Storm Wrestling Academy for an advanced training course. They will be pushed to the breaking point. They will learn what it takes. They will perform in front of a live audience. And they will find out if I think they have what it takes or if they are wasting their time. If they survive my training, they will be the best of the best. But until then, they belong to me. Versatility is a difference maker in professional wrestling. You have to be able to fill any void that needs filling. Opportunity doesn't come knocking very often, and when it does, you have to be able to answer that door. If they need you to be a villain, you have to be able to be a villain. If they need a hero, you have to be heroic. Versatility is a difference maker. Lance's students must be able to master both hero and villain roles in order for them to make it to the next level. T-Bone's easiest and most comfortable role to play is the villain. What is missing in his arsenal is the ability to portray the hero. My name's T-Bone. I came from Corner Brook, Newfoundland. Growing up, I always told my high school teachers, like, this is what I'm probably going to do. And a lot of teachers laughed in my face. So my parents thought I was crazy, absolutely insane. It's either be successful or go down in flames. <laughs> As T-Bone enters the gym, friendships and old animosities reignite. T-Bone, it's no secret that he's just a country boy, you know, he comes from the heck of the woods, you know, from nowhere. Frenchie? Oh, you're still a prick, eh? You're still a retard. Frenchie, I've worked with him on a couple shows. Very good athlete, but uh, sometimes he can be a bit of an arrogant son of a bitch. Oh, that's how we're gonna start this day off, my friend? Uh, no problem for me. You have a problem? I got lots of problems. Where do I start? You want a hero? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm ready to fight. I don't know about anybody else. For the guy that looks that crazy, I wouldn't be pushing him. <laughs> What's your definition of crazy? I don't think we got fellas on me back on. No? <laughs> nah, nah. Oh, well, they're usually in prison. <laughs> I come from a town that's probably about 20,000 people at the most, where I know at least half. This is way beyond what I'm used to. OK, listen up, everybody. With this business, it's very important to be versatile. You never know what you're going to get called on no matter where you work. You've got to be able to play baby face or heel. Doesn't matter which one you're most comfortable with, you've got to be able to play both positions. It could make the difference between you getting booked or not. All right, so I can get two people into the ring. Pick it up, pick it up. In wrestling, the heel is more commonly known as a villain, and a babyface is the hero. The wrestler must show Lance he or she is able to master the art of becoming a villain and a hero at a moment's notice. He's up. Before you start, you've got to set that table so we know who you are and whether we're supposed to give a or not. OK, hold up, hold up. Again. Who's babyface, who's heel, how am I supposed to feel about you? Yep. Yeah. Ouch. Okay, hold up just for a second, guys. Yeah, I don't know if you just don't understand what I'm looking for, but be it a babyface or heel, we've got to know whether we're going to like or dislike you. I work heel more often than not. It's hard to separate that personality and become the babyface. I mean, it's like just giving him a little bit of that, you know, just something to show that, yeah, I think he's a bit of a dick. <laughs> One, two. I still feel the same about both of you. Ah, that's garbage! 
I've got to step into my comfort zone of always being the heel, always being the villain, being in control in the ring. T-Bone just showing he's not that good in the ring. He was supposed to play the baby face, and as far as I'm concerned, I think he completely failed at it. You were a shitty baby face, you know that? Really? You got a personality. I wouldn't cheer so for one you. For one. I wouldn't cheer for you. No, what you probably wouldn't cheer for your own mother. What kind of heroes do you have in the country where you're from? Where I'm from is all about drinking, f***ing, and fighting. Coming up on World of Hurt. I am the devil. Have you been in that locker room? <laughs> Before the break on World of Hurt. I work heel more often than not. It's hard to separate that personality and become the baby face. I still feel the same about both of you. You were a shitty baby face, you know that? What you part? probably wouldn't cheer for your own mother. What kind of heroes do you have in the country? Where I'm from is all about drinking and fighting. Hey, that was good. Guys, listen up. We're going to work on some promo and character here a little bit to try to help define who you are. Talk well. So we're actually going to cut a brief promo, make sure we know who you are and how we're supposed to feel about you. Lance challenges the class to come up with a promo that effectively displays a character the audience can pull for. Promos? Carlo Cash, Money Cannon. Casey Fist Pump Spinelli. Benjamin English. I know what it's like to be stepped on. Bring a bit more energy. I'm gonna be the icon of the 21st century. That was actually really good. Make sure you pick up a lot of cover-up, because when I'm done with your face, you're gonna need it. Make sure you have a stronger finish. Who's up. All right. See if you can find some... Is it, is you want me to find some right? personality? Mm -hmm. no. yeah. yes. Hello, little boys and girls. The name is T-Bone. I'm sending a warning out to everybody here that if you rub me the wrong way, I'm the type of person that just might take your wallet. <laughs> Ruin your life. I'd even go home with your wife. I'd take her to town, drag her around, Take her home, show her the bone, bone her like I own her, and never, ever phone her! No, no, no! In the world of professional wrestling, I am the devil. <laughs> I'm assuming you were originally going to be a babyface, and then it just sort of stopped. It's just weird because there was a comedic element to it. <laughs> the voice is, I don't know how to take it yet. I haven't decided whether I like it or not. I think your natural voice sounds odd enough. Okay. We gotta continue to work on this, okay? So take a break, everybody. T-Bone fails this task miserably, and with it goes another great opportunity to show Lance his versatility. The boring baby face. What you up to? Gonna take a shower? Yeah, you better do. You stink, man. I came all the way out here to try and perfect my game so I can bring it to the next level. Making up to the next level, you know, there's a big social aspect to it. He needs to be able to fit in, and I think he's just out of his comfort zone at the moment. How you feeling, man? Did alright today? I'm alright, you know. I'll get around to it, I guess. Yeah, I think you'll be good. Just relax a bit. You seem so tense. I just think he doesn't know how to handle. The big diverse mix of personalities. It's a bit, uh, <laughs> bit of. It's relaxed, yeah? He'll get there. He'll be fine. A lot of different sh going down here. A lot of stuff I'm not used to. Hey, T Bone, uh, you can't do it. Do you mind washing my back for me? Don't ever ask me to do anything like that again. Being in the locker room, screw around, joke around, you know, being idiots. And I think. I'm, I don't think he knows how to take us. Good excuse. I don't know what the hey. We got one motherfucker dancing in nothing but his towel, and another guy asked me to wash his back. Well, there's another guy talking to him through the shower door. Why the fuck are you talking to the guy in the shower who's asking everybody to wash his back? Oh, well, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Why didn't I shower the guys? Have you been in that locker room? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home and have my shower. Coming up 
on World of Hurt. That's not appropriate, especially in training. We're just joking around and having fun. I'm sure it's gonna get worse. <laughs> Before the break on World of Hurt. We got one more here dancing in nothing but his towel, and another guy asked me to wash his back. I don't think he knows how to take us. Good excuse. I'm gonna go home and have my shower. A new day, and T-Bone is still not accustomed to his new environment. He regresses further and becomes more isolated. I put my whole life on the line. I left my family behind. I left my friends behind. I barely know anybody up here, and this is what I'm here to do. Do you have that chapstick? Oh, yeah, I got it. T-Bone's pretty serious when it comes to wrestling, and you know he obviously wants to make it just like all of us, so he doesn't quite get how he needs to be one of the boys, and that's what really gets you to settle in within a wrestling group. I don't know. He's a weird one. That was my fault. Well, stop it up. Pretty flashy outfit. It's a nice outfit, yeah. <laughs> you want to touch it? Going on back home, you don't see that kind of stuff unless you're out on the beach or, or it's 3 o'clock in the morning and you're going home to the, from the bar. <sighs> That's not funny. That's not appropriate, especially in training. What we do here, we're just... It's little time. It's, we're just joking around having fun. I'm sure it's going to get worse. Princess. Newfoundland, people are more down to earth. Here, it's uh, something I've never experienced in my life. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. One thing that's really getting me is all the gay shit between the guys. Like, I was never on a hockey team, or I was never on a fucking basketball team, so I don't know what that slap ass shit is about in the, in the showers and stuff. What are you doing tonight? You want to come over and suck me off? Maybe not. Okay, man. <laughs> There's a lot of that going on here, and it's starting to really fucking get on my nerves. In spite of his awkward surroundings, T Bone refocuses on his wrestling. We're gonna start today with some baby face or heel. So as much as you settled into finding yourself in one role, I wanna make sure you can play both. Okay, so we can get two people in. In the speed drill, the wrestlers must respond immediately to a heel or face command in order to complete this task. Stop. Switch back. The hardest part about playing both characters is two totally different mindsets. He's like, go, you're a heel. Switch roles. You're a baby face. No, you gotta try to impress everybody. You gotta keep your face up. You're looking down at him, you gotta keep your face up. Let's, and try not to look oh. like you just escaped from prison. Okay. <laughs> I almost got the whole baby face thing down, but I guess my uh, inner personality it kind of looks like a convict or a psycho or whatever. He's gonna learn a switch between that crazy, crazy T-bone that he is to, you know, being someone that the fans can relate to. One more time. Switch it back the other way. <laughs> That's not good enough, come on. There's a bit back and forth. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Gang rape isn't really a baby face tactic. <laughs> T-Bone just, man, you say me, lost it. Oh, oh Jesus, Murph. Ah, get it. Ah. I think I'm bleeding. You were the baby face. Switch. You're the heel. Ah. Oh. You're the baby face. Switch. Switch. Come on! <laughs> okay, hold up. <laughs> you can't help it, can you? Yeah, you went into Charles Manson without the swastika fake all of a sudden. In your gut, you go to, ha, ah, and it's, it's too much. You can't sort of slip and get off track and go back to crazy T-Bone. Okay? T-Bone abruptly leaves the gym. At his lowest point in the camp, T-Bone calls his father. What are you doing? Uh, not too much, you. Oh, nothing. Just wrapping things up here. How's it going out there? It's, uh, I'm seeing a lot of shit here I haven't seen back home. The guy from France, he's the most cocky, arrogant son of a bitch I've ever met in my life. Walking around with practically nothing on. And then there's uh, uh, Derek, and he's humping dudes and like sucking on their fingers and hauling his pants down while he's wrestling and shit. If we were back home on the road now, I'd, I'd have to shove my boot right down his throat. It's a goddamn circus is what it is. This business is a strange fucking business. You have a second outdoor, right? <laughs> Probably not. Coming up, 
on World of Hurt. Do you know why you haven't made it yet? Do you know the one reason why you haven't made it yet? Why what? Before the break on World of Hurt. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too much. Just wrapping things up here. Is a goddamn circus is what it is. Probably not. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, well, I love you. Take care. T-Bone has decided to attend the live event. Lance has tasked T-Bone with the role of babyface against Dylan. You gotta be full of smalls for the crowd tomorrow. Baby face. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. While well, you practice your smalls on a snail, buddy. Huh? It's exciting. Yeah. It's, 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 I don't know how the f I'm gonna pull this off. I gotta prove tonight that I can work both sides of the fence. I can flip that switch, whether it be in heel or face, or no matter how many people's out there where I am, or and not have any goddamn questions of what my capabilities are. Just before T-Bone is about to go on stage, Lance throws him a curveball. Not only will he fight a different wrestler, he will do it as a heel. Uh, have you heard? What, what's that? Well, I was supposed to be working Dylan, but now I'm working you. Me? Yeah. Am I still the babyface? Yeah, what? you're the babyface. In the other case, where I was supposed to be the babyface, yeah. now I'm the f***ing heel. <laughs> I've been preparing to be babyface, and then the last second I'm told I'm gonna be a heel. Not even be a heel, but I got a totally different match. So as a wrestle Dylan, big badass mother mother, you know, from Australia, and I was gonna be the babyface. And now I'm facing Carlo as a heel. I mean, I, I, not, like, I don't even know if I can flick the switch that fast. I don't man. And here we go with World of Hurt Live. Yeah! T-Bone. What's up, man? What the f you doing? What? No, Just, no, no, man. I'm here to wish you good luck, all right? Well, shake my hand. Don't rub my nipples. <laughs> wish you, wish you what? Wish Thanks, you man. Luck. Thanks. Okay. That's right? good. That's good. We got to, like, bring it up to the big leagues. <laughs> Give it up. Give it up. Just here to wish you Thanks. good luck, man. That's it's cool. Not, it's not small town anymore, you know? Just got to... Just bring it up to the big leagues. Bring it up. No, I'm just... Just stop. Bring it up to the big leagues, all right? Okay. Up for us. Just get it over and done with. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you <laughs> disturber? <laughs> Ready? Big match time. Right, just, you know, Baby big leagues, man. Huh? Big leagues. Yeah. All right. Big, big leagues, you got this, man. Why is everybody touching me and grinding me? <laughs> you guys are all nuts, man. What are you talking about? It's you and me, baby. We're You're nuts. <laughs> what are you talking about? I just want to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. Yeah? We're going to be fine. <laughs> get the get out of here. Lord Jesus <laughs> You big beefy <laughs> What the I got no problem flipping the switch now, you sick sons of bitches. Hailing from Corner Brook, Newfoundland, he is T-Bone. Carlo Cash Money Cannon versus T-Bone, live at the World of Hurt Arena. T-Bone embraces the heel roll right from the start. Carlo catches T-Bone, scissors to the head, stiff arm to the chest. Oh, catches T-Bone with the reverse DDT. This is it, two, no, kicks out. Feeling the heat from the crowd, T-Bone's confidence skyrockets. Body slam. I'll do the same to you, little girl. You want some? Off the ropes. Spinebuster right in the middle of the ring. Two, three, no! What the hell, man? Carlo on the top rope. Here we go. Carlo lands on his neck. T-Bone drags him into the middle of the ring. Now is his foot right on his neck. Your winner by submission, T-Bone. And T-Bone is not letting go. Carlo still in a lot of pain. 
engaging the crowd, T-Bone answers Lance's challenge with one of the best matches of the night. Yeah. Killed it. Give me you definitely flipped that switch. Why'd you kiss him before the match? Yeah, you stupid son of a bitch. Now he's bleeding. Huh? You gotta do what you gotta do. Act all fruity and I gotta beat him up. Thank you. Good job, man. Yeah. I'm gonna go lie down. You wanna play mind games with me? Then I'll, I'll pass the test. They hated my guts. The crowd hated my guts. They love Carlo. Job done. Today's valuation day, I guess. Of course I'm nervous. He, uh, he's not one to hold much back. When it comes to criticizing or when it comes to giving his point of view, he doesn't beat around the bush, no matter how, who you are or how good you know him. So yeah, I'm nervous. If there's any holes in my game, I'm definitely gonna hear him today. If he looks at me and says, you shouldn't pursue this anymore, then he's got a good mind for this business and you, I probably shouldn't pursue it anymore. Have a seat. Do you know why you haven't made it yet? Do you know the one reason why you haven't made it yet? What is that? I think it's your overall presentation and package and your physique. Just calling a spade a spade. What you need to focus on, more than anything else, is the gym and the package. You've got this larger-than-life character, the face, the personality is an 11, your body's a seven. You just need to bring that up a couple of notches and you will make money. This is the last piece of the puzzle is what you're saying. That's going to be your difference maker. That's why you're not there now. All right? All right, man. Put everything into that. I will, thank you. I think uh, every bit of that evaluation that Lance gave me is true. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show everybody at home, I'm going to show Dad, my whole family, that I wasn't around when I said I was going to do this. I'm going all the way.